Hey Geraldine, this is Akil. So obviously, um, I'm just gonna record this video. It's off the cut, um, using my microphone. So hopefully, you hear me a little clearer and everything. Well, everything's cleared. Um, basically, this is a WordPress website. So as you can see, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. I just actually built it like five minutes ago, uh, which is why WordPress is so cool. It's called CarolilyCatering.com. It's for my um, cousin who's doing a catering business. So basically, when we talk about, um, you know, the meta side of it which i was mentioning so i haven't gone into your wix site just yet but i'm just going to show you how wordpress works so this is the wordpress site again it's brand new so it's basically just i guess the default setup i just deleted a few pages so when i want to go into wordpress i just click on dashboard obviously i sign in with my username and password um and as you can see there there's certain things that it has like say your posts, um, your pages, again with pages, it could be like any particular page, contact page, um, home page, uh, about page, etc., etc. Then you have your appearances, which is how the website looks. And then you have themes and plugins. So what I was mentioning before was a certain section called, um, let me get this out the way here. So this is your general section. So the general section allows you to change the, the site title so you can see the site title and the site tagline. So for example, I would change this to, um, so Carolily, oops, uh, catering. So North, so she's in, she's in North Carolina at the moment. So I can make that up. Um, so you would normally put like say, children's photography or Brooklyn children's photography if you want it more local and then you can change all this there but this is what I was mentioning when you it shows up in Google it would show up as a site title and then you also tagline so it's pretty straightforward and if I wanted to say for example um, I just need to save that I'll change that on late, later and so save that and if I wanted to create like an extra page I'll just go to add new so for example if she needs an about page she needs a contact page so I'll just click about and obviously, um, you write what write the write what the about page is about here, and then it's pretty straightforward. You just click publish. So I just click publish there, and then I can right click and see. You know, I can add more stuff to it if I wanted to. So I just right click. So that's the about page, and I'll just show you a contact page, and I'll show you what I mean by a plugin. So for example, if I just publish this contact page. So I'll click publish. It'll just be a blank contact page. And then I'll show you how I add a contact form to it. So I'll just right click. I'll just show you how that looks. So it's just pretty much blank. You know, no one, you can't really see what that's about. So what I would do is go to the plugins area. Now this is a, what they call like a, I forgot the terminology they, they, that there was used, open site or open, yeah, open site or something like that, um, website where a lot of developers they create plugins so you can see these are some of the plugins here you got featured popular recommended and favorite but right now i'm just looking for a contact form plugin and i could choose multiple ones so obviously it's don't you show me contact form 7 but i usually use a fast secure contact form so i'll click that and i'll hopefully find it fast secure contact form i think it's something like that um Come on, where is it? So these are all the contact forms, as you can see. I think it's called Fast Secure. Hopefully it shows up. If not, I'm just going to use the contact form seven. So all right, so contact form. So we'll click there. What you can do is just install that right into the website, and you can activate it. So I'll just click activate and then what it will do will give you a code. So as soon as this loads, I just need to find it. So it's going to be in tools, users. Here we go, contact form. And you can create a new contact form if you want. But this is just the default one. So I'll just click, let's copy the short code. So I'll just copy that. And then what I need to, need to do is go to this contact form. Click here, edit, edit this page and then paste this in and then click update and then what you'll see now is a contact form where people can actually contact me or contact the page so just view that
believe I yep so here we go so it's pretty straightforward and again um, so you get using your name your email subject matter and subject again this is a default uh, WordPress site so again if I wanted to change it and change the theme again the theme is how it looks so these are some of the themes these are some of the default themes so I can click add new and again I can also search that database of which theme to use so for example if I wanted to use this one I just click on install and obviously I have to configure it to the way I want it to look with most things so I can click on live preview and see how it will look as soon as it loads okay so it's kind of changed a little bit I mean obviously you add you add certain things here so I mean again it's a quick little website this is how it looked before so I'll just click on home because I didn't activate the site so it's still with the default website and then if I click live preview again I would need to like change some of these stuff so if I go back to X that out and then choose a different theme so I'll choose a popular theme I'll just preview this one for a second and I could choose different themes and choose how it looks. Um, again, I'm going for more food theme because it's catering. So again, you can always search on Google or you can search on um, WordPress. So you can search there and you can find like catering sites, something to do with catering. But I'll usually go into Google. I'll do something like um, say free. WordPress catering themes and then that will show me a list of the top 20 catering themes and then I could choose from that since it's free well some of them will be free some of them I'll have to pay for it uh, but yeah I could scroll down and see which one I like uh, usually people create a lot of um, I guess articles so when I talk about content on your website I'm talking about like stuff like this where people create like say if I go back you see how this is popped up when someone's searching for that so you can see here this is a site title this is a site description so someone would if if they were your um, in the photography field they will actually do like 20 something cater it uh, so not catering it's 20 um, let's just do let's just see hold on <clears throat> Alright, so that's the keyword you, you should look for. Oh, so I just had an idea. So you would do something like 20 children photography poses or something like that. Or 20 favorite children's portrait. So these are all stuff people search for here. So I would actually, you know, if I was really going after this niche of this particular market, I would definitely look at some of these keywords here and create articles for each one of these. So I'm just going to do... Um, just click enter and see what pulls up in Google so maybe 20 affordable or 6 affordable something so here here's how to photograph how to photograph how to photograph children 17 tips for great children photography that's definitely something I would want to read and something I would look into so maybe you have maybe 10 tips that you want to share so you can go and look and see this article and see what they're actually talking about so yeah so obviously you would read it see what they're talking about 29 tips maybe you can take 10 tips from here I don't know why it went back but um, yeah this is definitely something I will look 267 best children photography image on Pinterest now you, who's really gonna look at all 267 so you might want to break it down to like 10 or 17 or maybe the top seven photography pictures and you could definitely like steal them from Pinterest and put them in your site as long as you give credit where credit is due obviously so it's not really stealing it's just saying hey I found these seven um, children photography images here they are and I found them on Pinterest thank you you know have a nice day <laughs> pretty straightforward all right so and I was looking at some of the keywords so you can see here I know I went off topic and this video is kind of long but it's hopefully it's kind of interesting to you so <clears throat> You can see here, 
these are what people are actually searching for in Google. So you have local photographer, one to, sorry, one to 100,000. But here's where I saw, like for me, if I do this, if I had this website and I was a photographer, you know, newborn photography is 10K to 100,000 search for that on a monthly basis. And these are like the ad side of Google AdWords. I don't know if you you know about Google AdWords. These are what businesses pay Google, and they usually pay between one dollar and eight cents to have their ad run, or between that figure. So you got portrait photography, family photography, maternity photography. These are all particular topics that you can cover, which you probably are covering, but you're not really advertising on your website, or you're not really creating any content for it on your website. Um, and this is definitely something I would do. So you have kids photography, you have maternity pictures, maternity photos, maternity photo shoot, uh, pregnancy photo photography, newborn photos. Um, you know, these are something that I would look at and kind of focus on creating content for each one of the topics. So that way you rank in Google more for each one of these um, particular keywords. And if you, the more keywords you have and the more keywords you use, the more you'll be known for in Google for those particular keywords. And then your um, yummy beer site would come up more in Google, especially when I look on the back end. I mean, I hope this makes sense. I hope I'm not rambling on um, with WordPress and with um, showing you exactly what are the things I would look at. So I'm going to make you another video. I'm just cutting it short because uh, I'm for short, short of time. And hopefully it's not too long. All right. So let me know what you think. I'll speak to you soon.